hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I am a cruelty free YouTuber. And today I'm doing a first impression of a palette that I have had for quite some time and that is the Aurora and Out palette from Colourpop. I bought the Cloud Dye Kit I think it's called and this is one of the palettes. I haven't used any of them and today it's the day. So the palette looks like this. So this is the green palette. A little bit shaky, I think. So this is the greenish blue palette. And I'm going to do something green today because when I <laughs> when I saw this on Colourpop's website, I was like, okay, I want the greens in this one. So I'm going to use them and I don't think this is available anymore. But I have the palette and I want to use it, so that is what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to fry my eyes and then we get started. And if you hear something, it is the cats. Astrid is playing with something and Ines is just following her. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, I'm going to start with... I think I'm going to do this super simple. So I'm going to start with <laughs> Fresh Cut, this one, and I think maybe these two on my lid so like a whole shimmer lid and then i'm actually thinking of taking this yellow one or this orange one in my inner corners i haven't decided yet we will see how this will go so i've heard so many mixed things about those palettes some people really like them others think they are not pigmented at all and we'll just have to wait and see and i excuse my hair today after I was sick with the virus thingy, I have lost so much hair and I am starting to get a little bit self-conscious about it. I'm desperately trying to have more volume to my hair, but I don't know. It just keeps falling off. I think it's starting to be a little bit better now, but losing a lot of hair. So enough about my hair. I'm going to start with fresh cut. We will see now. And also I'm going to use completely new brushes. I bought some brushes from Nabla. I bought the the red kit. Ruby maybe it was called. Mostly because I really like Nabla's brushes and I want to test some more and also I don't have any clean brushes left. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I should just clean them, but like, you know how boring that is? I don't even know what Astrid is playing with. Some little plastic thing. Like we buy thousands of toys to them. Like a paper can be more fun. Plastic lid can be more fun, but the toys they don't like. I think I like this shade. It takes a little to build it up, but I've gone in maybe eight times. <laughs> but I still feel it gives some color. And the eyes supposed that these palettes are supposed to be <laughs> I suppose these palettes I think are supposed to be like tie-dye and uh, really light and stuff like that so yeah for me it's working for my pay less it's working but you see like I really have to build it up it's not like a creepy cute from Shroud, if we say it like that. But I like that it keeps the color. I can feel with some pastel palettes that the more you build it up, it gets like a deeper color. But I think this keeps the fun, the fun and light green. It's just that I have to take a lot to make it happen. I don't think it's because of the brush, because I have used other brushes from Nabla and they are really good, so 
don't think it's that. I just think it's how it is. Okay. <laughs> this shade is more like a topper. I'm going to show you. You see the one on top is more of a topper. So I think we're just going to go with... Or I can do like this. I can take this Healing Heart on my whole lid and then maybe take Soul Sister to put over like out here to have it a little bit deeper. I think I will try that. So I'm going to take Healing Heart on my whole lid. And we'll see. I hope this will work without the glitter glue. Maybe not, or I just have to pack it on. I think that some of Colourpop's shimmers are amazing. Some of my favorite shimmers in my collection is from Colourpop. But others are like... Ah, you really get what you pay for. Maybe just need a little bit of packing. I really like how similar these are to each other. The one that I have in my crease and this healing heart that I have on my lid. It is really like the same shadow, but one of them has shimmer and one is matte. I think I liked it actually. I'm just going in with the matte shade I had in my crease a little bit more just to blend it. So I'm going in with Soul Sister. This one I'm putting it over because this felt like a topper. You can see my brush even can pick it up. We'll see how that looks. I know I think the cats are chas chasing each other. Here you know what? doesn't happen a shit. Hello. I don't think I can see any difference at all. I'm going to try with denser brush and see if that is better. No. Okay, is this like a super shocked shadow? I take my finger then. I hate to do eye makeup with my fingers because it doesn't feel like I have any control at all. But okay, yeah, this worked. So I wonder if this might be a super shock. It doesn't say anything on the back of the palette, so I don't know. And I bought this a in July maybe? I like don't even remember. I think I bought it during summer. This must be a super shock shadow. It at least look like fun. Bright and fun. So I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. And I will see if I will put an orange in my inner corner. I might do it or maybe the yellow. We will see. For my under eyes then, I'm going to take the one that I had in my crease that was fresh cut and then I think I will go in with your vision like in my inner corner but I will start with fresh cut the green one just smudge it my eyes are going to tap it off <laughs> we will see now if this will show up or how much because I had to build it up so much in my crease and in my crease I also had my eyeshadow primer I don't even know if you can see it like it's a little bit powdery and I don't want this green all over my face I feel like I really have to work it in so it's messing with my concealer 
Okay, so I actually think I will go in with Eurovision in my inner corner. It is a, I guess this is pressed glitter because it's not intended for eye area. I, yeah, it's pressed glitter. I just hate it when Colourpop do this because I would love to have that in my inner corner, but I don't dare to do it. So I'm going to take your vision. Pop it in here. Okay, so I don't think it's any more anything more I can do with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to put on mascara, something in my waterline. I might take like this one from Colourpop. This is Icebreaker. Yeah, I think I will take this one from Mascara and Shoes a Lippy. So I did change my mind with eye, I eye color, eye pen. I took a NYX. Is it even saying Hot Dang instead? And on my lips, I took a Fantastic from Linda Harburg. This is in Culture Red. Culture red. It's a bit more like orangey red, maybe. But yeah, this is the look. If I look at myself in the mirror, I think it looks good. But if I look myself in the viewfinder, it looks awful. <laughs> I have to see how this looks when I'm editing this. It feels like my eyes are disappearing into my face. Does this make any sense? Feels like they are just too light on this post-covid hair it feels like my eyes are like too bright but i don't know so what do i think about aurora and out i i think this look it's a springy look <laughs> it's a light look it's a green look but i think it's kind of toned down and i really like the color i had on my lid but I don't think this is as good as Colourpop usually do, like their 9 pen palettes, because I think they are, the monochromatic, they are really good. I think this is, this just doesn't have the same impact, and maybe it's not supposed to, maybe it's supposed to be pastels, but the pastels I've used from other brands are better than these. And this works for my pale skin. I don't think if you are a deeper complexion i don't think it will like even show up on you so i'm not super thrilled about this palette and now i've only used three colors four maybe if we count the one in my crease but I, it feels like the all the colors are going to be pretty light and a little bit toned down this looks work, but it's not my favorite. I don't know what I feel about the other two palettes. I guess that they would be the same as this one. I think this would be cool to like use together with a palette that has darker colors. But I think I like have come to realize that I like more darker looks. I don't feel as home in and these more pastel -y bright looks when it's this toned down. I guess it looks good, but it's a little bit meh. I think this would be a good palette if you are not that used to play with the colors and you want to bring in maybe some green to your looks or some orange. I think this is a good palette then, but for me that is a big color lover, no. Maybe I should actually see if Colourpop still has these palettes. Palettes. It says out of stock, but you can get notification when it is coming back. So I'm guessing that it's not like out, out. It's just out for the moment. But yeah, if you want to put in some colors in your makeup life. I think this is a good palette. If you're like me and love colorful, more impact shadows, I don't think this is for you. That's just my opinion. But yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!